Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. So today on the channel, we have a really special video. We're gonna be comparing the top three best smart star projectors that you can buy today on the market. This video is a follow-up video to the ever wildly successful first Galaxy smart star projector video comparison. As you know, I'm a huge fan of star projectors. Why, you might ask? I really think it's an excellent cost-effective way if you wanna start adding a little bit of future space, start creating moods and a bit of atmosphere. You get it, plug it in, point it at your ceiling, and boom, it totally transforms the whole room just like that, super simple. That's why I love them. Of course, they also really got the momentum going here with the Future Space Collective channel. So who are the three contenders in this star projector comparison video? Boom! Ooh. Of course, we have the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0. We have the Ooh. Galaxy Projector from Galaxy Lamps. And of course, we have the Smart Star Projector, Bliss Light Skylight box design. That's what we're looking for at for the front of it. And that's what the back of it looks like. It now comes in this dark gray finish, the body, which I've opted for. You can get the white finish as well. Secondly, we have our Galaxy Projector here from Galaxy Lamps. We'll get a little close up on the box design there. That's the back of it. So I do like this box. They've opted for uh, all black box with the matte finish. And lastly, we have our Smart Star Projector. A lot of you know drop shippers will white label this to their own brand name. This is what the unbranded box design looks like. So I've actually covered the Smart Star Projector before. I've already done a video in depth on this and how it works. So I thought we'd throw it into the mix to see how it compares to these two guys. Let's go ahead and open the box, starting with the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0. So this is what we're looking at upon first open with the Bliss Light Skylight. So the body itself hasn't changed at all, it looks like from the original classic Bliss Light Skylight. And I really did like this body design because it had the big tactile buttons. They were the first ones to kind of have this three-legged design. You know, you can point it uh, kind of at a 45 here or you can go at more of a higher angle if you wanted to project upwards. So let's crack open our Galaxy Lamps now. So we'll push that to the side. The Galaxy Lamps projector upon first open. Some nice words on the inner box here. Okay, so it's an all black finish to this projector. As you can see, it only has one button. Very similar to the Smart Star projector. In fact, I, I'm almost gonna go and say these may actually be identical projectors. I don't know yet, but I do prefer the finish of this. It's very sleek, very nice. Okay, so we just finished with the Galaxy Lamps and the Smart Star projector itself, just like the Galaxy Lamps, they seem to be identical in weight. So you can see the screw holes on the Galaxy Lamps have been covered up. The lens looks about the same. It may be a tiny bit bigger on our Galaxy Lamps version here. What do you guys think? Are these identical? So here you have it, our top three contenders for the best smart star projector, all with app control and multicolor capabilities. Don't forget to peel off the little tab on the laser aperture right here. So the cool thing about lasers, if you introduce fog into the mix, you can actually see the beams of light. So that's one of my favorite things to do is to spray a bit of fog. You can get uh, you know, fog in a can or use a fog machine. We can actually start to see the beams of light. This is just a really quick test because I love doing this. I think it's pretty cool that we can see the beams of light if we get fog because light needs to hit something in order to actually see it. Alrighty, time now for our side-by-side -side comparison shots, projecting each unit from the exact same spot onto this gray backdrop at a distance of six feet away. Camera exposure will remain the exact same throughout. Starting off with our Smart Star Projector, all three red, green, blue LEDs, as well as our laser stars. Moving on to the Galaxy Projector 2.0, again with everything set to max, and finishing off with the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0 with the same settings. 
Moving into the split screen comparisons, we can get a better feel for how all the projectors stack up against each other. Of course, everything comes down to personal preference and you should go with what you find the most visually appealing. However, if I'm to draw technical conclusions from these tests, I'd say the Galaxy Projector 2.0 has the most detailed image with the most contrast that is the darkest darks and the brightest brights. Overall, I find it has the most light output and greatest resolution. This is further confirmed by our waveform monitor chart here. We can see the Galaxy Projector 2.0, the triangles on the chart are a bit wider, taller reaching, especially in the reds and blues, essentially confirming a bit more light output and greater spectrum of color. Although I will say it's still fairly close overall between the Smart Star Projector and the Galaxy Projector 2.0. Now personally, I like to set the projector to purple, that is maxing out the blue and the red LEDs. This is my favorite look for using these Galaxy Star Projectors. So of course I'm going to compare what these three profiles look like when we set them to purple with maxed out stars. Next up, we're taking a look at just the blue LED projection with the stars. This is how a lot of the first generation of star projectors came. It was just a blue projection. And I think if you're gonna go with just one color, that blue is the nicest looking. However, if you are gonna go with just blue or a single color for that matter, you might wanna consider an older generation of star projector. As you see, the lasers and the single color LED are a little bit off center to accommodate all three colors. So that becomes more apparent here with the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0 if you're projecting just a single color. Next thing I compared was just the laser star patterns and how they look without any of the LED projection. Again, my findings were the Galaxy Projector 2.0 had the brightest, most powerful light output when it came to the laser stars. And do keep in mind, you can dim all of the stars on all of the projectors. So if it's too bright, don't worry about that. Personally, I found the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0 had the least favorable stars and were hard to see in real life. Lastly, I took a look at just the LED projections to get a feel for what it looks like without the stars and what's going on when we add the stars in. Again, similar to the first test with everything being projected, I found the Smart Star Projector to be somewhat of a middle ground between contrast intensity and coverage with the Galaxy Projector 2.0 being the more contrasty detailed pattern and the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0 being the more washed out and lesser detailed pattern. I noticed the Smart Star Projector was not totally silent in its operation and was emitting a bit of a high pitched sound. Whereas both the Galaxy Projector and Skylight 2.0 were indeed silent. I've done an audio comparison of all three of these projectors to let you hear what this sounds like. Let's have a listen. I will say the sound emitting from the Smart Star projector is still very low, so the only way to hear it is if there's total silence. Any music, talking, or background noise will cover it up. However, still something to consider if silent operation is a must-have. Okay, so the shots you're looking at currently, the projector is placed on a shelf, and the idea is we're pointing it, catching the roof and some of the wall. So this is kind of at a 45 degree angle, trying to cover as much of the room as we can. It is more and more apparent from this shot that the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0 definitely has the least amount of coverage. Um, that is the angle of light throw and laser stars when compared to the Galaxy Projector 2.0 and the Smart Star Projector. And here's the same shot now with the green projection added back in and we'll take a look at the full screen shots of these right now the smart star projector with the full white that is the red green and blue projections galaxy projector 2.0 and lastly the bliss light skylight 2.0 so for this next shot we've projected from the center of the room pointing upward completely this was the largest surface area ceiling that i have in my place so we can get a feel for what that looks like. First starting out with the white, 
or the also known as the red, green, and blue projection. And we can start to get a feel for the angle of throw that each projector has. Smart star projector versus the Galaxy Projector 2.0. And lastly, the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0, which definitely has a, a lesser contrasty image and, and less stars, but maybe you like that more. It definitely has a unique characteristic to it. This is a really good side-by-side -side comparison. Um, and again, I had to do it with the purple, which is just the red and the blue projection, because I do really like what that looks like. We full screen that here again for you to take a look at. Galaxy Projector 2.0. The most vivid colors, as you can see, um, to the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0, which is the least of the vivid colors, but an interesting effect nevertheless because of its kind of more dull nature. Okay, so we're moving into the bedroom shots now. This is the last set of comparison shots. This is the smallest ceiling surface area with walls to kind of block everything in and the glass doors. Uh, that kind of reflect the image. So the light output will seem a little brighter in here because there is, you know, a smaller surface area. I do really like this side-by-side -side comparison here. We really do get a feel for each one of the projectors in a smaller room. Take note, there is a sort of a drop ceiling that we're seeing. Um, so you can kind of get a feel too for what it would look like, you know, assuming that um, it wasn't a totally flat ceiling. And just for reference, so you know where the projector is in a situation like this, the placement. The projector is in the corner of the room, pointed at a 45 degree angle. I figured this represents more of a scenario that one would find themselves actually using the projector functionally. Okay, so let's jump in now and talk about the apps to control these devices and sort of how they differ. Okay, so first and foremost, let's talk about the Galaxy Lamps app. So what's really cool about Galaxy Lamps is they do have their own app here, which if you're the type of user that just wants to buy the product, download the app that says Galaxy Lamps, connect the thing, you're in luck. But something really cool is that this can also be added to Smart Life, which is great for more advanced users like myself, where the less apps I have to install, the better. So I can keep almost all of my smart devices within the Smart Life app, which I've opted to do. The Smart Life app control for the Galaxy Lamps Galaxy Projector 2.0 and the Smart Star Projector are actually the exact same. So if you are interested in an in-depth look on how to connect either of these projectors using the Smart Life app, check out that video, the Smart Star Projector video. I really do a detailed job at going through the app and all of its features there. We will quickly go through it. Okay, so I have Smart Life open now, and I'm gonna go ahead and open the Galaxy Projector. So the app is super simple. The tabs at the top correlate with what you wanna control. The laser's off right now. We turn the laser on, and it controls the laser. So this little toggle here, on off switch, this slider here controls the brightness of the laser, and this bottom slider controls the rotation speed of the entire projection. So moving over to the color tab, you can set the color you want using this color wheel. Top slider is the brightness of the projector color. The bottom tab is how much of a mixture of white do you want versus the color you selected. So I guess we could call that a saturation tab even though I just leave it at 100 all the time. Again, it also has a schedule, you can put timers, and you can do scene modes, basically have it flash to different colors you set, make it fade in and out. But yeah, it's pretty intuitive, and it's pretty cool that the Galaxy Lamps, you know, that you can connect it into Smart Life, or you can just download their own app and connect it into that. Okay, so I have my Bliss Light Skylight 2.0 connected now. This is what the app looks like when you boot it up. At the top right, it has this counts down four, three, two, one. I don't know why they would do that. You can bypass it. Just seems like a waste. I don't know why you'd want to sit on the home screen for four seconds. Anyways, this is kind of what the app interface looks like. Uh, you can click more into here and we have some presets that you can basically set that are pre-programmed that it can do. 
the DIY tab right here lets you basically custom set how much red, green, or blue you want, which is essentially how these colors are made, as well as adjust the brightness of the stars, turn on or off the rotation and on or off the fading. Versus if you go back to the main effect tab and hit controller, you're faced with more of a button interface. So you can turn on or off rotation, on or off fading, on or off the laser, set the brightness of the thing, and you know turn off the red, green, or blue. One thing you can't do is adjust the speed of the rotation on the Bliss Light Skylight. Looks like you can cycle through the duration of the effects, I guess, if you wanted to cycle through them. I don't know, again, I just usually keep my projector on one color with the stars and have it do its thing. The big downside with the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0 app is that it does not interface or connect with Amazon Alexa or Google Home. But hey, if you don't care about any of that stuff, both of the apps will do a fine job at controlling your device. Whereas if you do want smart home capabilities connected with Google Home or Amazon Alexa, you'll be looking at one of these two projectors where you can indeed use your voice to control the projectors. Computer, turn on star projector. Computer, set star projector to green. Computer, star projector red. Computer, star projector purple. Computer, star projector white. So white basically blasts all of the red, green, and blue LEDs. Star projector, 25%. and you can see it dims them. Computer, star projector, 100%. Computer, star projector, blue. So which projector is the right one for you? I would say get the one that is the most visually appealing to you. In terms of power, brightness, and color, we saw that the Galaxy Projector 2.0 does have a bit of the advantage here and does come out on top versus the Bliss Light Skylight. That's where we start to see a bigger sort of gap between the power and brightness output between, um, you know, this guy specifically and these two. All of these projectors can be connected into a battery bank, which is what I did use to power all of these to run my tests which is great if you don't want to plug it into a wall, you can make them battery powered. Next thing I want to reach on again is in terms of silent operation. So if having a noiseless silent galaxy projector is important for you, that means you're going to be going with one of these guys, the Galaxy Lamp 2.0 or the Bliss Light Skylight 2.0. And the last thing to consider is the smart home integration. The Bliss Light Skylight does not have any of that smart home integration, just the app control alone. Price considerations, you know, I see these star projectors fluctuate quite a bit in terms of their price. Updated price links and deals are in the description below. They are relatively all in the same range, but that just about wraps us up for the best star projector version 2.0. The follow-up video to the first Smart Star Projector video I released on the channel, which has just over 1 million views. So thank you everybody for watching that video. Please help support the channel by hitting that thumbs up button, clicking those Amazon links, and dropping a comment below. This is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. If you're curious about the shirt I'm wearing, it's made by a company called Into the AM. They make these awesome space themed graphic tees and apparel. Links and discount codes are in the description below if you're interested in checking them out. My name's Julian Melly, and I'll see you when we explore the next product for imagination.